And welcome to my YouTube. I'm Alan Cook, here to show you the newest painting out there done by Leonardo da Vinci. It is a magnificent love. It is absolutely flooring. I have well over a thousand YouTubes of evidence proving that is all the images of Leonardo da Vinci's works as of to date is in my painting. And I'm going to show you another one. What I'm going to show you is that you see the blanket that the hat's sitting on top of? It is right here. In this particular area, it transforms out of the painting of mine into many different layers and layers of chemicals and lighting and shadow and depth. It just goes wild with Leo. Leo excels beyond anybody's imagination of what anybody could try to obtain of his ability to obtain this type of information, uh, let alone to know it, to be able to put it in a checker type deal. So what I'm going to show you is the black and white image of my painting. And this particular black and white image is this of the blanket when it's changed. As you can see, um, in this particular area where the feet are, there's the blanket that flows here when it transforms. It's going to get really good. You're going to be concentrating on this curve, this bird, and you're going to be seeing how these little black claws of, of the bear that is upside down in the Mona that I'm going to be showing you. So let me pull the Mona to, to show you. And the Mona is right here. And if you take the Mona and you screen shoot it or you download it, you're going to see this mountain. And this mountain is a bear. It's a bear and many, many, many other things. Here, I got to put this down. Just a moment. All right. I'm back. It's me. Okay. Now, the bear. The bear is awesome. I, I just got to I just got to be myself right now. The bear is supreme. And so when you take this and you flip it upside down, you'll get this you'll get this image right here. This is what it looks like. As you can see the claws. And that's what it comes. It actually has eyes and it and and, and it bear claws and he's drinking water in the, in, in the uh, uh, the lake. As you see and you can see this curve here. So what I did is I took a full Mona and I put it as of what you see here. Okay. And if you if you take a look, here's the bear claws, bear claws, and he's got his eyes and it and when you get deeper and deeper into his works you'll find out there's little people in here and they make in love and little bears and it just continues endlessly endlessly now here's this curve that I was telling you about we're going to be looking and this is the claw we're going to be concentrating and it's going to be difficult because it's a white sheet going over so if you got your artist eyes on and you really concentrate and you get yourself ready for a screenshot so get ready for a screenshot you're going to find out when I overlay, there's going to be some other little things that I'll add to this. But when you overlay these little claws, there they fit 100% into the claw. See? Watch. I'm going to hold it. Now you can screen shoot that anytime you want. And what's wild is it's a dually here. And here's the dually. You see? So I'm going to move my stick and I'm going to put, lay that up there. You can screen shoot that and you do all the evidence you want. Now here, when you're also doing that, here it comes, you see the circle that I tell you about. The circle comes through here and curves. The perfect curve and circle lines up when the claw is here. See, that's Leonardo da Vinci's hidden works. Now his painting moves all over, but here is a pretty good strong point because here is my woman's heart, which is right here. 
here's the heart and that's what this is so when we get to that and you take a look at this and we overlay it these claws if you're really good you can see these these, these, these it looks kind of like seagull wings that, that that my woman's dress I'll hold it right here into the point there's the point and there they curve they curve up and they curve this way so Leonardo da Vinci makes these wings fly because they're not going to sit still not with Leonardo da Vinci no way so if you actually look at the bird you'll look at the bird here and when you look at this bird you'll see how this bird's head is aiming that way but he's also got it going this way so when you pull it on down you can actually see the outline right there aiming that way but you can also see it going that way I'll screen uh, not screen you can screen shoot it that's it right there but I'll zoom in and overlay that particular area for you for you to see watch it's not very good but it is still I'm not hiding a thing these are facts these are hidden works of Leonardo da Vinci and there it goes that's where it overlays okay now he has this big icon here the reason why this big icon that's bleeding through here that doesn't show here there's many many reasons one because Leonardo da Vinci didn't want it to two it's awesome. <laughs> that's a fact and then two is it takes different poles to get to it three is that when you take a look and open up this layers there is tiny little other layers within each one that means none of these are solid they're not going to show up like black and white so that's a trip so when we take this image and and we overlay it like like we do okay we have found what did we found we found the claws how they match we found how the bird how the match we found how the bird match how the curve matches and that's only the top of it just like uh, John F Kennedy said he, when they said look at all that water out there in the ocean he says that's just the top of it well with Leonardo da Vinci that's just the top of it okay because that's what he does he just crazy he's crazy 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 Leo and don't forget I got an X right here and I didn't even pull out my other particular but when you zoom it on down you can see how it spells his lover's name Google it you'll see it right there I don't know if you can see it right there too well let me see let me see let me see oh shoot I gotta back that off I've done that before done it darn sorry and, hey Thank you for all the subscribing. I just want to get that off my chest. I just want to say this, and you guys have been great. Now, you can see, we're going to get right to it, subscribe. Well, this is Jesus Christ, and he's in the Last Supper. This is Jesus Christ proposing to the older Mona Lisa. It is a diary of Leonardo da Vinci's works. This so happens to be the younger Mona Lisa. She transforms into a younger woman and then develops into an older woman. And it is the stylus. There's many different things in which I'm going to show you uh, later on in my videos, which there's over a thousand of, and you're going to see that the images and the uh, the well, the images are of like um, Leonardo da Vinci's mother being proposed um, by Jesus Christ, and also Leonardo and all his um, lovers and his uh, models that he ever done. It's what they are is stylist of an interpretation of an artist. The image back behind here, which is the Mona that you can see hiding, and I wanna keep um, the Jesus <laughs> hiding the main, um, well, uh, the main show. And I'm gonna show you this face, this face, this large, that's in the Mona. I'm also gonna show you ladies her shoes, her shoes that are in the Mona, and they are large. We're talking large. Well, okay, we're going to talk about about that big. Okay, so I want to tell you that you are going to see something that is absolutely magnificent. Now, I want to let you know that I did a YouTube called Leonardo da Vinci Hiding His Bear. And it's, it's a really good YouTube. It's going to be in to this uh, YouTube itself. A little bit more of uh, his hiding. And a little bit more explaining in detail. 
Now, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up, and don't forget to take that broken finger and call your friends. I want to show you this uh, image, in which so happens to be of my painting with a big MF in the corner. And you can see here how he, he continues his works. It's an M and an F. Well, if you take the um, marker and you get into um, drawing it out, I draw real straight, don't I? <laughs> okay. Woo. Okay. Now, why I am telling you about the MF, okay, is because when you take the Mona Lisa and you reduce it down, you can see real tiny, and I'm going to do it real slow, I mean, um, uh, such, when you get real slow or, or uh, close, there's an MF that shows up, real buoyant. So now you, you it, that's got to do with his, his um, special ways that he hides his works. So then what you do is you do what we just did to uh, the BD on. You take the, um, the marker and you go and you put the M and the F. Another hidden works. And that's Leonardo da Vinci for you. Not me, but you know what? I found his works, okay? I found his works and it is something else. How you like the two MFs? Now, for you to understand about the MFs, you're got to, to um, well, you got to understand that um, it actually is the initials for one of his lovers called Melzi Francesca. And he lived and received all of Leonardo da Vinci's inheritance, uh, except for the Mona Lisa painting itself is what it's, uh, the history shows. But, um, you know, I do have his diary that is got um, uh, the writing of his, uh, his will of uh, Melzi Francesca having and uh, dates of uh, weddings and uh, rings and all kinds of things like I said there's over a thousand YouTubes so what I got to tell you if you really really love history if you really want to protect your kids and you want to continue on with um, well continue on uh, the study of a super great loving man a great loving man and that is Leonardo da Vinci's uh, painting here. It is uh, what I'm, I got hidden back behind here that I am trying to get you guys to call a friend and hit the notification bell and get everything going. Um, thumbs up. Watch the YouTube uh, commercials because they actually help pay for my cause. I didn't know that and I don't know if you did because I just found out myself. So if you guys knew it before me, you guys could have told me, you know. Okay, so, um, thank you. Okay, now, remember, okay, Younger Mona Lisa, Diary of Leonardo da Vinci is right here, Older Mona Lisa, and is the same as Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, put a mustache, mustache, hat, hat, and you got it. But, let's get right back down into it, because that's what you guys are here. You guys are very busy, and so am I, and this has only taken me about 16 hours to do all this this uh, setup. Don't forget, in my YouTube I have the x-ray. X-ray of the Mona Lisa is right here in front of you and that is absolutely authentic. There's nothing that's been altered to deceive you in one drop of water in the ocean. That's the purity of my love and his that he put there for us. Let me show you also, I'm going to throw this back up here, I'm sorry, that when you get the cortex of the dog and you put the two side by side and you're on a 55 inch screen you can blow this up a little bit before it gets pixelized and you will see that when you do the transform from the tan to uh, black and you'll see the face that will transform into my man I still haven't done a YouTube to show you how I did that 
it's gonna be have to be pretty lucky because you got a thousand different ways to do it and I got to try to recall how it was done okay so we know that my man is also in as other works not only that has been in the Last Supper along with the Mona Lisa many many a times now the highlight is coming up real soon this is bomb 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 and I got me a wonderful editor this is what I have been trying to promote a little bit then which has already been running I don't know uh, how you feel about it but it has been going up yeah, in this YouTube you gotta excuse me I'm a little um, happy and a little uh, anxiety of uh, happiness of of my findings and it is really cool now here this comes I'm going to do something that is well I'm gonna put this like this and I'm gonna I'm gonna zip this like this now nah, you didn't see it still <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to pull this out of the way. Jesus says, don't forget to subscribe, okay? He's my buddy. He's my friend. Now, here is the face, the face of my man, okay? And when I take the face of my man and I overlay it over the top of the Mona, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to show it to you yet. When I put it over, you're going to see how my face lines up in her chest. The chin, see, the chin, whoops, I went too high. The chin fits perfectly, the eyes fit, the nose, everything. This is the way Leonardo da Vinci does his work. He hides his work and he makes it bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, this is not just it. So when I take this and I put it side by side, you see the face, you see the face. You see the face, you see the face. I overlay the face on top of the face and I suppose you got two faces on top of each other. <laughs> and he makes it grow. So here, here's the kicker that you wanna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little kick. That, uh, whoops, might uh, help you understand. When you put this like this and you do the overlay, Got to come down a little, I think, or I might have just gotten too big. Eh, close enough. Okay, because the reason why it's close enough is because if you see the chin and you see the different colors in it, this is what he does. You see how it's it's here, then it's here, then it's here, and it's here. So he makes the face grow. So when you put it on, you go, oh, how come? Well, and also he will make it turn. So he's got an eye here, an eye here, and then the eye gets bigger and bigger and goes around. And this 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 face ends up turning all the way around. You can see the nose here that turns him into a bird. He turns into a bird in this. And I I'll I'll try to get to that part. But here for the women, ba bam ba ba the shoe. If the shoe fits, wear it. Here it comes. Here's the shoe. Now I'm gonna show you where the shoe fits in the Mona. Now what I have to do is tilt it. For the reason is, is Leonardo da Vinci most likely put a block of wood for his turns because he did a lot of different he did a lot of different things uh, of um, in areas. And you know it's easier when you're not like working on a car to where you can get underneath the car to where you use a dolly. So he used his tools just like um, men and women use their tools for their works and uh, and uh, their, 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 their ways. But if you take a look here, and I'm going to overlay it, but before I do, I am going to show you side by side, side by side, the shoe, the shoe. So I just have to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to overlay it. As you see, the shoe fits. The shoe fits. Here's the shoe. Here's the shoe. Side by side. Let me put this up. Side by side. The shoe is the same. That's Leonardo da Vinci and his tricks. Bam. Okay. I've showed you the face, I showed you the shoes, I showed you the other images of the bear. If the shoe fits, wear it. Leonardo da Vinci is very tricky. And now what we're talking about, what I showed you today that even took 15 hours or so between yesterday and I had to practically throw away most of the videos and redo. Well, 
There is absolutely millions of trillions of images that are just like that under different layers. So don't forget, listen, I want you guys to subscribe. I want you guys to give a thumbs up. I want you guys to say your prayers. Wash your hands, social distance, wear a mask, and above, above, above all, say your prayers to where it's not just God bless the whole world. Uh, USA. It's God bless the whole world. So is may God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. And you have a beautiful, beautiful night. Don't forget to look at the uh, YouTube Kids. And I thank you, YouTube Kids owner. You are magnificent. I will give you more and more compliments. And with the bottom of my heart, honesty. This is no fake. This is a real person saying, not a robot. Thank you. God bless you my friends, and brothers and sisters.